So stick around if you want to find out how to feed 20 people for $20. G'day, my name's Jenny Bennell and I'm a mum to 16 children. And like everyone else, we're just trying to stretch our dollar a little bit further and to stay within our household budget. So today I'm going to show you how to feed 20 people for just $20. Now in order to save some money, it has to start with some clever shopping. So every time you go to the grocery store, you have to be watching for the specials and anything that's for quick sale markdown, um, that they need to get rid of because it's getting close to its use by date. Those products can be stockpiled and stored in your pantry or you can prep them and freeze them. I'm going to show you how to make a really easy meal, chicken and corn pasta bake. Now make sure you get your kids involved when you're cooking. They always get a lot of enjoyment out of helping mum in the kitchen. And um, yeah, you can have those extra set of hands there to help you. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients. You are going to need four chicken breasts. You will need um, two bags of pasta. Pick a small pasta, like a small shell or a spiral. Even a penne pasta would be very suitable for this dish. You will also need about half a bag of grated cheese, a few spoons of breadcrumbs. I use a one kilo bag of mixed veg. Uh, soup, you will need some soup. So I use a chicken and corn soup but I buy those when they're on special and I stockpile them. So if you don't do that, you can also substitute that for a generic brand soup and then you can add an extra tin of corn kernels into that as well. First thing you do is pop on an apron and wash your hands and if you've got children helping you in the kitchen definitely make sure they wash their hands take four chicken breasts now you can buy these wherever you like at the grocery store you can go to a butcher or a meat wholesaler whatever's the cheapest whatever fits within your budget and whatever your preference is so take your four chicken breasts and make sure they're clean and you've got a, um, a very sharp knife uh, makes it easier to cut it all up and I have a specific uh, cutting board that I use just for um, prepping the meats. Now you're going to take those chicken breasts and you are going to dice them up. Now again I've said this in past videos, if you cut the meat into bigger pieces you're going to need more meat to go around. Uh, nobody wants just to get like three, three pieces of meat on their plate. The smaller you dice it, the further it will go and spread through the meal. Now, if you're trying to stick to your budget, just have the chicken and corn pasta. If you would like to add something a little bit extra and your budget can handle it, um, you can add a few handfuls of diced bacon. So cook that up along with the chicken 
and then you can add the rest of the ingredients after that. Once the chicken is cooked, you're going to want to grab yourself a big deep pot. You're going to want to put some water in that, bring that to the boil and add your pasta to that. And when that pasta is almost cooked and it's still just a little bit firm, then you will drain it and have it ready to put into the dish. Now the next is really super simple. Add the soup, add the frozen veg, and add the pasta. And when you put the pasta in, be careful that you fold it in nice and gently so you don't break it all apart. When everything is combined you're going to want to pop that into some dishes so some oven proof dishes like a Pyrex dish um, spread them out fill them up and then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top a few breadcrumbs just to give it that nice little crunch once the cheese has melted you're going to pop that into the oven under the grill so that it will brown up nicely and if by chance you are not feeding 20 people like we are um, you can still make the same quantity and you can take your leftovers. It's a foreign word in my house, leftovers. There's never too many leftovers around here. But you can take your leftovers and put them into single serve containers into the freezer and you've got instant lunches and meals for when, say, teenagers come home from work or from sport. So those single meals are easy to, to put into a microwave and heat up, but if you're like us, and we don't own a microwave, never have used a microwave. You can put them into a small Pyrex dish straight into the oven. If it seems to dry out a little bit, you can add just a touch of water to it, 10 minutes in the oven and you've got lunch ready. Now you can add some 
veg to the side if you would like. Um, if you can find something in season, so it might be some broccoli or some long green beans, that would be really yummy with this meal. What I like to do is to use a little bit of crusty bread. So every time we do hot dogs or we might have a breadstick, I will cut up the leftovers, put them in the freezer, and we can pull them out for these sorts of meals. A little bit of butter on them under the grill, you get a nice toasty piece of bread to go with the warm chicken and corn pasta. So it looks yummy, hey? <laughs> we have full bellies and a very happy family every time I make this meal. So I would love for you to try this in your family. Let me know, do the kids like it? Do the kids not like it? I have one kid who likes to pick all the peas out of it, <laughs> but loves the rest of it. So let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. Leave a comment, I love to read them and happy to answer any questions you've got. So we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, God bless.